Disclaimer. The information in this video is for informational purposes only and was produced for a class project. The creator is not a medical professional. The student, faculty, and university do not guarantee the accuracy nor reliability of the content, nor should it be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. If you have any questions about a possible medical condition, please contact your physician or qualified health provider. Never delay seeking treatment nor disregard the advice of a medical professional due to the information you received in this video. I also do not own any of the pictures or videos used in the presentation. The citations will be featured at the end of the video. Heart disease is the most common cause of death among women and men in the United States. After reading our textbook, I have learned many contributions and risk factors that contribute to cardiovascular disease. Today I'm going to talk about the link to sleep deprivation and cardiovascular disease. Starting off, I wanted to talk about the most common, coronary artery disease. This is what happens when we have a lack of blood flow to the heart caused by plaque deposits made up of cholesterol, blocking the inside of the arteries. This is also called atherosclerosis. The CDC has declared the United States is facing a sleep deprivation epidemic. The CDC claimed more than one third of Americans are sleep deprived. This is a huge number considering our body's needs to sleep. Sleep deprivation leads to an increase of cardiac sympathetic function, increase of blood pressure, and also an increase of calorie intake. If you notice, these are all red flags and things to avoid for cardiac patients. I found an interesting study done in 2019 by Dr. Flip Swirsky at Harvard Medical School in Massachusetts General Hospital. The group studied mice that were genetically engineered to develop atherosclerosis. Researchers disturbed the sleep cycles of half the mice, letting the half develop normal, healthy sleep patterns. After 16 weeks, the mice that were sleep disrupted developed larger arterial plaques than the mice that had normal sleep patterns. The sleep disrupted mice also had twice the level of white blood cells in their circulation than the controlled mice. We know that white blood cell count plays a role in inflammation and cardiovascular disease. Smoking has been proven to keep white blood cells high. Smoking also happens to be another leading cause of cardiovascular disease. Can sleep deprivation really have the same effect on our heart health as smoking? Possibly. With new studies coming out all the time about sleep deprivation, the link seems very probable. A journal from the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine states as follows. It has been suggested that chronic sleep restriction may increase sympathetic nervous system activity to the heart. Both acute and chronic sleep deprivation may activate the inflammatory process, which may result in an increase in inflammatory marker levels. Sleep deprivation may also be associated with metabolic disorders and glucose intolerance, conditions that increase one's risk of CBD. After doing my research, I quickly realized that sleep deprivation side effects such as high blood pressure, inflammation, and obesity all are high risk factors of cardiovascular disease. This immediately made me think if Americans really knew how important their sleep was, especially to their heart health would they begin to prioritize the amount of sleep they get each night? When is our sleep debt finally going to become unforgivable? According to another journal from the American Journal of Lifestyle Association, obstructive sleep apnea is an independent risk factor for hypertension, which is where the blood is too high against your artery walls. The more blood pumped out and the narrower your arteries, the higher the blood pressure. Hypertension also happens to be a high risk factor for cardiovascular disease. The journal also mentioned there was an emergent evidence from a large case study that discovered mortality rates among patients with obstructive sleep apnea from cardiovascular disease 
were higher over a 10-year follow-up than people who did not suffer from obstructive sleep apnea. I will leave you with an interesting perspective by an article published by Stuart F. Kwan, MD. A number of well-known authors have provided literary descriptions for sleep. Shakespeare describes sleep as the balm of hurt minds, great nurturers, second course, chief nurturer in the feast. Cervantes wrote that sleep was the food that cures all hunger, the water that quenches all thirst. So why are we still not prioritizing sleep when there is a substantial evidence linking abnormalities in sleep duration and several sleep disorders with cardiovascular disease?